I'm actually doing something different this time than what I usually do. So I'm not completely sure how this is going to work out. But let me show you what I've started with. I'm wanting to make a ruffle at the top and then the bottom will have a ruffle and I want locks just at the bottom. Um, I put the um, top and the bottom only going vertical and the m middle is going horizontal. So I'm hoping that this this will shrink this way and these will shrink this way and I'll make a ruffle. We'll see. I like to experiment. So I've got um, a pile of locks here. I have my little scissors and my brush. Okay, and then this. So let me see. And normally I would just lay out my um, my roving in a regular um, cross pattern, make a whole scarf, and then line one edge or even both edges with the fiber or with the curls and then put some more roving on top. So let me grab a little handful of curls here. And I'm trying to do this so that you can see it in the... So what I would start to do is, um, this doesn't really need to be trimmed, so I just, and this is just a dog brush. And so I give it a little brush and then lay it down just so the cut end is somewhere inside of that roving. And then I grab another. This end, I can feel a little knot right here. So what I'm going to do is snip that off. Ow! I just stabbed myself. And comb that over just a little bit. And lay it in. Um, now when I felt, only these cut ends are going to felt. I really did get my thumb. Um, like this one's already clean, and I can uh, layer them. I can go as much as I want. And what I'm going to do after I put um, my curls down, I'm going to go back and put one more layer. See, I don't like how much fluff there is here, so I'm going to, um, I'm just going to trim that off. I'm not, uh, super particular about all of my fibers being the same length. I'll just put the shorter one on top and that's good for me. So, um, this is really just how I do it. Uh, let's see, this one might need to be trimmed. Oh, I'm right out. Alright, so I'm going to do that all the way along and I'm going to mix up the colors a little bit from dark and light. My curls don't actually match my roving really well, but I don't think that it's going to matter um, in the end. I think it's going to, when these all blend together, it's going to be kind of fun. Um, and I think everything works anyway, so I don't really have any problem with uncoordinated stuff. So I'm just going to go all the way through, and I'll probably do two layers or maybe three. Um, and then I'll put another layer of roving. Let me grab that and I'll show you. So this is the roving that I'm working with. It's kind of a mystery roving. I don't know what it, what the fiber content is. But I'm just going to take it and just really thin. I don't need a lot. I'll just do another layer over the top of these just to hold them down when I felt. This is this will be what the end will look like. Only I think I'm going to put more. I have that whole pile of wool of uh, locks and I don't know exactly how much that is but I will just use it all. We'll just fit it all in. I'll just keep uh, layering it on top and on top and on top until it's gone. That's kind of how I usually do it. I'll try to measure that before I Right now, I'll wait before I go much further. And then in the next video I make, I will um, let you know how much that weighed. Um, this roving, when I started, was 3.7 3 ounces. And let's see. Now, 
it's 2.35 so I didn't even use a ton of roving um what is that 1.35 I hate math okay so I'm gonna keep going here um I always keep a little pile of just junk whatever I pull out from anything and eventually if I can't use it it'll end up in my garden so no waste Okay, and this is just laid on top of a bubble wrap um, with the bubble side up. I'm not exactly going to be teaching you how to fill because I'm assuming you already know that. I'm just showing how I use locks. Okay.